Hello everyone, I'm back in the studio, had a couple of days there that uh, things didn't pan out right, so uh, we're back now, um, we're going to finish up some birdhouses, um, got a little trimming to do and assembly, so uh, after this video is a second video which is a time lapse, um, in case you guys just don't want to watch the whole process, you can see it real quick. Um, if you like these videos, please uh, give me a thumbs up down below. There's a thumb up. And uh, if you subscribe, I'll keep making them. All right. Well, here we go. This is a portion that the, the wren will build her nest in. And then we'll trim a roof for it. And uh, give her a place to have her babies. All right. So, that's that portion of it. I put a little drain plug in the bottom drain hole, uh, just in case moisture gets in there, we won't drown any babies. Never know, have a big old rainstorm or something. <laughs> so we just have a little bowl here with a round bottom on it. So now we get the, this lid is actually the uh, roof for the birdhouse. I think by now I learned a tap center, but I cannot master that skill. Can't even get this thing centered. There we go. top notch here that we put on um, so we gotta do that see if I can find a scraper there it is 
So we're just going to rough all this up. twist and press that into place, trying to keep it on center. They don't have to be perfect. And then, could have been better than that one, that one. <laughs> But it's a bird house. All right, this thing off the wheel. Oh, I put a hole down through the top of here. drill sometimes. Give it a head start. So that's to put the wire in that holds the birdhouse around a piece of those uh, eighth inch or sixteenth inch, 16th inch aircraft cable um, down through there, and then I've got some little aluminum binders that go on the aircraft carrier they get fastened up underneath and that's how uh, you hang them in the tree so there's the roof I can get it picked up without knocking the uh... there's the roof there is the bottom portion and we'll put a hole in there uh, for the bird to get in and out. We got a hole in the bottom, and then I put a second hole in for a little perch that I add to it. So we'll see what we can do here. I gotta pick this up out of frame for a second. Mark the. Uh, oh, that was nice. Mark the hole. <laughs> Sorry, bird. There we go. So, this is where the uh, bird goes in and out. And this hole needs to be an inch and an eighth for a wren. And this is a one inch uh, cutter, so I have to make it just a little bit bigger without making it too big. Okay, that should be fine. Smooth the edges out, you want another birdie cutting her feet. And then I add a hole for the perch down below. We'll find some twigs to, I make my perches out of twigs. I did make them out of dowel rod and they just 
didn't look as natural, so. Um. All right, so now we have to attach the roof to the uh, to the base. So I scrape all this up. I'm trying to work as fast as I can so you guys don't spend all day watching the YouTube video. Unless, of course, that's what you want to do. Flip this guy over. Got it pretty well centered. I'll uh, mark where I have to. Rough up the lid. Get some slurry going in there, and I'm adding some to the base. Make the two halves up, marry them back together. together as best you can without without uh, deforming them and you got a little birdhouse bingo man I really got the camera down low there we go that might help so there's a finished birdhouse ready to dry for a couple of days and then we'll get it fired all right have a good day, everyone.